Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Flat Earth Sage again. And I was on my way going for my walk, and I noticed something that I haven't, I might have talked about on my channel like way back, maybe a couple years ago, but I wasn't quite sure. So if not, this is a barrel cactus fruit. And now they grow from these little stumpy cactuses right here called a barrel cactus. And you can see on this, got a couple fruit in the process of ripening. Um, now with stuff like prickly pear, they have things called glycids on the outside of the fruit, which are these tiny, almost microscopic little spines. And I've gotten stuck with those a couple times, and let me just tell you, they're not fun, and they hurt, and they're very difficult to, to remove. Um, but with this, this is completely smooth. There's no spines whatsoever on them, or inside. <laughs> um, and uh, they're pretty easy to pretty easy to eat. All you have to do is just peel the skin. Let's break it open a little bit. You break it open. Kind of looks like this. And basically, eat it as is. Now, as you can tell, there are a crap ton of seeds in it, but it is pretty good, though. It's a bit citrusy in a way, a little bit sour. And it's a very good survival food. Now, usually with cactus fruit, I would refrigerate them for a little bit before I started chowing down. Because on a lot of the cactus fruits, putting it in the fridge for about 24 hours will dramatically will trigger the fruit to immediately start converting and making more sugars. So by the time you get a dragon fruit and you eat it after it's been in the fridge, it tastes a lot sweeter. That's why. It's pretty good. So if you live American Southwest, come across these things they're ripe go ahead and pick them this one believe it or not is not exactly completely ripe because it should be more like this across the whole thing but it's close the fruit's very good so, if you get a chance, try bell cactus. It's pretty good. Anyways, until next time, guys. Peace.